Today, the neighbor of a missing Mansfield woman was in court charged with receiving stolen property tied to use of that woman's credit card. NBC4's Olivia Fecto, live in Mansfield tonight, where investigators and a forensic team were at the home this afternoon. Olivia. Well, Mike, police still aren't saying much about this investigation, but earlier this afternoon they were working here at this house. We were asked to move back. We talked to neighbors on the street about what's going on. It's a quiet neighborhood. This is kind of a shocking here. You know, we're not used to, you know, this here. Mark Clever has only lived on Spring Street since last April, but he got along well with his next door neighbor, Patsy Hudson. Didn't go anywhere. You know, she sit on her back porch. But, you know, talking to her cats, that's all she ever did. The 62 year old has been missing since last July. The mail started piling up and stuff like that, and we kept reporting her, you know, and that, but it just kept dragging on, dragging on until the family members tried to contact her and they couldn't. She was reported missing shortly before Christmas, and within the last few days, investigators say they believe human remains found in northern Richland County may be linked to her death. Today, investigators and a forensic team came to the house, but no one would talk to us about what they were doing there. Her neighbors are now remembering her and hoping for answers. I was kind of shocked because I didn't, somebody like her, she was a nice lady. She didn't bother nobody. She stuck to herself. And like I told him before, you know, you couldn't ask for a better neighbor than her. And Hudson's other next door neighbors who used to live in this house moved out of that house about the time that Hudson was last seen. Neighbors say it may have been an argument over stray cats that Hudson kept at her house. That couple was arrested late last week in Tennessee, but no one has been charged in connection with her death. Live in Mansfield, Olivia Fecto, NBC4.